Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. I'm standing in front of a 2007 Volvo 730, so it's the mid-rise sleeper. This truck is presently owned by Brian. He's owned it since it was new. And this truck is becoming available in the marketplace in December. Brian has ordered his new truck and we're trying to pre-sell his existing one. So in a few weeks time, this one will be available as a conversion to a single rear axle. I'd like to show you a little bit about the truck inside and out. This truck has 836,000 miles, but what's unique about this truck is who Brian hauls for. Brian's truck, since new, has been commercially inspected for safety every three weeks. Now that's very different. Usually commercial trucks are inspected once a year, but Brian carries heavy loads of fuel and because of the sensitive nature of his loads his trucks get a complete or his truck gets a complete safety inspection every three weeks so what that means to us is this truck we Brian has been on top of the repairs on this truck since it's new so nothing ever sat nothing was ever ignored or left alone things were fixed quickly and proactively The paint on Brian's truck is nice. Now when you realize that you know this truck has been on the road for over seven, well about seven years, hey it's gonna have some chips, it's gonna have some marks, it's not new. But I've seen a lot of trucks and this one is very, very clean, especially when you see the inside. You'll be very pleased at what you see. Brian doesn't sleep in his truck. He he does day kind of day trips with his fuel loads and as a result the inside really is in great shape. Brian does not smoke so the inside there's no odors or smells. It's going to be outfitted with brand new rear tires come December. I want to point out that the, the deer bumper on the front Brian's going to keep for his new truck come December time frame. Let's take a quick look at some of the close-up of the paint. You'll see, yes, there are the expected little chips. This has been completely a highway truck, so it's not been off-road on gravel. I've crawled underneath it, and it's nice on the underside as well. It's not all beat up. The lenses need to be polished and hazed, but we know how to do that really well. I'll point out as usual, <clears throat> all of these Volvos have drain holes behind the door right here. The water that comes from the windshield and comes down runs inside the door and there's some drain holes underneath here. And it's kind of a poor design of Volvos. The water just sits on a little lip back here and as a result you'll get that little bit of bubbling. So there's a little bit of rust starting underneath there. We can fix that. We'll get that sandblasted down to bare steel and repainted. Here on the driver's side, you'll see the oncoming traffic on the road always picks up a little bit of gravel and, and, uh, and sand. And as a result, this little bump out here does get some rock chips in the paint. But other than that, this is a really nice, sharp, clean looking truck. As well, when you look at the back of the sleeper, you'll see really very little when it comes to uh, little chips on the back of the sleeper. It's a nice, really nice. This truck does have a rear locking axle. So if this is ever going to get into a little bit of slippery conditions, that lock there is going to come handy. Let me show you inside the truck next. Well, here we are inside of Brian's truck. And if we interview Brian here in a minute or two, you see he's working. He just came off the road today. This is what his truck looks like just after he stepped out. You'll see what's really nice is when he goes in the back of the truck, there's his Crocs for. Uh, so, past the floor mat, Brian has mentioned this is a shoes off zone. 
This truck has a 13, 18 speed Eaton Fuller transmission. <clears throat> so you can manually skip gears with this one, but if you leave it in the drive mode or the automatic mode, it will go through every gear. Leather seats. Really, Brian optioned this truck when he ordered it with every single option. So you'll see it's got the workstation, that table that flips down into a bed. It's got the largest Volvo refrigerator behind the driver here. A couple of drawers. Brian's going to keep his microwave for his new truck, so that's going with him. And up top, you see it does have the optional fold down upper bunk. And he's got a TV DVD. So he has an inverter in here, but that as well is coming with him, so we'll need to add a new Volvo, a new uh, inverter. So what's different with these 730s is, of course, there's no cabinets up top here above the driver or the passenger position. It's just a big kind of a shelf up there. But I can tell you, this truck smells very clean. <clears throat> You'll see the steering wheel is in pretty good condition as well. A little bit of wear around the outside edge, but that's very normal. Somebody's been holding on to this for over 800,000 miles. Well, I'd like to introduce you to Brian. He's owned this truck since it was new. Uh, he picked this up December 3rd, 2006, he said. Yep. We've had it since then. And Brian's a professional driver who uh, also stays on top of things. Now that we've looked at his truck, we see that he's been proactive in the maintenance. And Brian, can you just share with us what kind of things have you been doing to this truck in the last while and how has it been for you? Actually, um, what, what sold me on this truck when I bought it was the, the head mechanic down in Lethbridge. He said, uh, with this engine, the D12, um, it only has 1,650 pounds of torque but it has 465 horsepower. And he says he's never had to pull apart this engine, like a, to do a head on right. and that kind of stuff. So um, with Mark's recommendation, this is the this is the powertrain that I have decided to get. Um, so the engine itself. Um, you said you had an, in, uh, an injector done. That's all you've had to do? That's one, injector one injector and six injector cups is the only thing that I've done to the engine. Um, we put a new turbo on just uh, last month with a new air-to-air. -air. Uh, the rad was done last May. The air compressor was completely rebuilt by a, an outfit here in town uh, in February of last year when I went on holidays. Um, I've had, this is an 18-speed auto shift transmission that I've never had one lick of problems with. Um, it's kind of neat because the worst thing it'll do, is it'll never grind a gear, it'll only beep at you. <laughs> and it has uh, sensors in the back to, it allows the truck to know how much weight has been put on, so if there's no weight, it'll skip two gears at a time. So, um, that part has been really good. It was ordered with a uh, 411 rear end and I had it changed to a 390 rear end. As we're discussing, that's something we can swap out too if we wanted to get someone a little more speed and more fuel efficiency. Yeah. We could change that out to something a little bit speedier with lower RPMs. Yeah. The truck will come with brand new tires on it. Uh, the tires that come off the factory on my new truck will go right onto this one. At present, uh, doing 105 kilometers, so say 65 miles an hour, I'm doing 1,475 RPM. I work for uh, a fuel company, and maybe Greg will go to the front of the truck here. Why we get things done every three weeks for 15,000 kilometers is because of this pick plate. It stands for, stands for Partners in Compliance, and in to be on this pick plate program, um, all pieces of equipment running down the road, trailers included, must be inspected every three weeks. And they have a whole list of stuff that they check. Um, from the obvious of windshields and mirrors to lights and brakes and um, oil leaks, all that kind of stuff. Air leaks, mm -hmm. everything gets addressed. Nothing gets missed. For us to be on this pick program, as long as we 
get our equipment inspected. We have in Alberta uh, bypass rights to go by through the scale, right past the scale. Um, I have a little transponder inside in the truck that looks like no bigger than a, a garage door opener and it beeps and flashes when I go underneath uh, the reader at the scale mm -hmm. and yep. then I'm free to go. But I have never had a lick of trouble at a scale at all. So um, I also, um, the shop is right behind Greg here uh, and when I get my inspections done I take it to an outside shop and last December when it was uh, CVIP'd, there wasn't a damn thing wrong with it. So it kind of makes me feel good that the truck's been looked after and somebody else says so too. Um, I've had really good luck with this truck. There's, like I said, there's, there's not really much wrong with it at all. Uh, everything has been looked after mechanically and you can tell by the inside that um, there's barely a mark in it. Uh, it's just the outside that shows a little bit of road wear. Yep. So we don't have any codes on the truck. Obviously okay. the maintenance has been top notch and if you're interested in this truck contact us at rvhaulers.ca and we'd be happy to convert it to become an, a fifth wheel puller. Thanks Brian for your time. Appreciate yeah, it. You bet.